free decision dropped from the Supreme Court this past, uh, what I think it was about Tuesday or Wednesday, but essentially the right-leaning Supreme Court gutted established precedent really on when you can sue a federal agent for violating your civil rights. Now, the decision effectively gives Border Patrol agents who violate the Constitution uh, gives them complete immunity from lawsuits seeking to hold them accountable for this unreasonable searches and also uses of excessive force. Now, we know this from the Wall Street Journal. Congress hasn't expressly authorized such lawsuits and courts shouldn't interfere. They interfere, they are allowed. Justice Clarence Thomas wrote for the court's conservative majority, Wednesday's decision was the latest in recent de decades to retreat from a 1971 precedent known as Bivens that implied a right to sue federal officers for violating the Fourth Amendment right against unreasonable searches and seizures. Yes, Bivens had been established and it had been with some 51 years, but of course, we have this right-leaning leaning Supreme Court that has gutted it. And here are some of the details about the specific case. Now, this case was brought in 2017 by Robert Bull, who owned the Smuggler's Inn. That's a bed and breakfast located in Washington State along the Canadian border. Border Bull had a complicated relationship with the feds, according to the court's opinion. He sometimes served as a paid confidential informant, helping agents identify people crossing the border illegally near his property. He also provided lodging and shuttle service to those crossing illegally. In March 2014, he told Eric Egbert, a Border Patrol agent, that a Turkish citizen was scheduled to arrive at the inn. When the guest's car reached the inn, Mr. Egbert entered Bull's property without a warrant. Now, Bull said that he told the agent to leave, only to be thrown against the vehicle and then to the ground. Now, Mr. Bull ended up suing that agent, Egbert, for violating his Fourth Amendment rights. And the ruling initially didn't go Bull's way. As the New York Times has reported, a federal trial judge dismissed the case, saying the Bivens decision did not allow the sorts of claims Mr. Bull pressed. A three-judge panel on the U.S. Court of uh, Appeals to the Ninth Circuit, however, unanimously reversed that dismissal, allowing Mr. Bull to pursue both theories. Now, Egbert's lawyer argued that allowing Bull's claims would undermine the ability of Border Patrol agents to engage in searches as part of their immigrant enforcement responsibilities. The Biden administration backed the agent's position. And ultimately, well, he prevailed at the Supreme Court. That's the agent who prevailed. So... What did the three other justices that are more liberal, what did they say about this? This for the Washington Post. In the dissent, the court's three liberal justices said they would have allowed the Washington state man's lawsuit to proceed against the federal agent. Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote that the court had absolutely immunized from liability thousands of Border Patrol agents, no matter how egregious the misconduct or resultant injury. Now, Sotomayor wrote that the majority on Wednesday had rewritten and stretched its own legal standard beyond recognition to close the door to Bull's claim. The conduct at issue, she noted, took place on U.S. soil and the injury was to a U.S. citizen. This case does not remotely implicate national security, she wrote, adding that Congress has not provided that federal enforcement officers may enter private property near a border at any time or for any purpose. Now, this decision, the implications, they are far reaching because it basically means that border agents, that they can ignore the Fourth Amendment and do whatever they want. Unfortunately, the only remedy or relief that we would have as citizens is to file a grievance that would end up being investigated by law enforcement themselves. And so this case, Egbert, what it does is it forecloses any opportunity to get financial compensation for violations of our civil rights. This really shows again how having a right wing Supreme Court majority is stripping individuals of their civil rights and any remedies that might actually help uh, reduce any kind of violations of our civil rights by way of creating accountability. Jay? Yeah, so uh, this is a very uh, troubling decision for reasons I'm gonna explain. But first, let's note that uh, uh, I like Bull's sense of humor. He named his bed and breakfast the Smuggler's Inn and he literally smuggles in uh, people into the country. That's amazing. It's just, I mean, it was very on the nose, right? Uh, so, and, but to be fair, he was caught with a Turkish citizen. Come on, let him go, let him go. Okay, uh, in all seriousness, a lot of times the defendants that are in this, or in this case, the plaintiff uh, that uh, brings the case is not necessarily sympathetic, right? But that, that's not how the law works. You don't have to love the guy to say that he has constitutional rights. And if he doesn't have constitutional rights, you don't have constitutional rights. And so um, this is a reversal of precedent, which the Supreme Court, all the uh, justices when they were going 
uh, in front of the Senate were like, oh, no, I love precedent. Are you kidding? I was dating president earlier. Went out for like four years, okay? Love precedent. Uh, now they're in charge, like, president? <laughs> president, that's a good one. No, Ro, you're gone. Uh, warrantless searches, you're back. <laughs> Fourth Amendment, you're gone. Uh, Bivens, I, gone. Okay, so that court decision, uh, no longer relevant, apparently. And so, first off, uh, if you're, this means you can't sue the Border Patrol for violating your rights, including your Fourth Amendment rights. This also means they can go into your uh, house, into your property, without a warrant. It's lawlessness now, okay? Now, right wing, are you sure you like it? Because now the jackbooted thugs of the federal government can come into your property and take away your rights. And your Supreme, your right wingers on the Supreme Court just allowed it. Are you sure you like it? Because I don't think you're going to like it when they start doing it to you. And so very likely uh, it will also apply to other federal agents. So for now it's Border Patrol, but everything the court indicated seems to show that they will expand it to all other federal agents because it's the same logic it's, uh, and it's getting rid of the same precedent in Bivens. Uh, and it, but even if they didn't, here, we'll show you a map. Uh, how much is, of the country does this cover? Well, Border Patrol agents can operate within 100 miles of the border. Well, uh, that covers almost all of the major cities and hence 60% of the American population now can have their home barged into or any property uh, by federal agents, specifically Border Patrol, uh, and you can't sue them. They have immunity. They can do whatever they like in that uh, context. So enjoy. Yeah, it's very interesting. You're absolutely right about people um, not necessarily seeing how this is going to impact them. It's almost like they're kind of cafeteria constitutionalist people where they like the enforcement of the Second Amendment, but Fourth Amendment when, hey, it has circumstances like this, oh, it's okay, we're going to completely ignore it. And as a result, they're going to end up with no constitutional or civil rights whatsoever. It's just a matter of time. Thank